Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to see about Databricks overview. We will see how actually we can create a cluster in a Databricks, how to create a table, how to create a notebook, everything we are going to discuss. So I hope you have already created an account in a community edition. If you have created an account, then you can log in community.cloud.databricks.com. It's completely free. You can practice that. And if you want to upgrade that, then you have to click on this upgrade now button and then you can upgrade the for that you have to pay an amount. So we are going to use a free edition that is a community.cloud.databricks.com. So once you will log in, so you will see this particular screen. So recent, it will show all the notebook which you already have. So in the left side also, you will see the certain option. Now in the left side, you can see we have option new. If you click on the new, you can see we can create a notebook. We can create a table. We can create a cluster. So these are the option we have. If you click on the workspace, whatever the workspace, whatever the notebook you have, you will get to see in this particular workspace option. Recent, whatever the recent notebook you are working, if you click on the recent, that will come here. If you want to search, so we have a search option through which actually you can search in the workspace. Catalog option, once you will be having a database created in that database on which particular location all your files are available, that actually you can see in, in the catalog option. Workflow, if you have to schedule any job, then we use a workflow option. As of now, for this community edition, we don't have a flexibility to use a workflow to schedule it. But uh, only for the scheduling purpose, whatever the job you have scheduled, that actually you will see in the workflow option. Compute, in the compute option, whatever the cluster which is running, that actually you can see here. And if you want to create a cluster, that also you can do here. Now what actually we are going to do, we are going to first see how actually we can create a cluster. So for that, first you have to click on, click on the plus new button and the cluster or you can directly go into this cluster option. Click on the create compute. Once you will click on the create compute, here you can give any cluster name. So I will give a cluster name as a PySpark practice something. You can give any name and after that you can see Databricks runtime version. So this is a by default. So we will go with the by default option. You can see multiple Spark version, Scala version is available. Multiple things are available, but we, we, we are going with the by default option. Here we get a free 15 GB memory as a community addition. Your compute will automatically terminate after an ideal period of one to two hours. So once you will launch a cluster after one or two hours, that cluster will be terminated. We have to remember cluster will be available only for one to two hours. So once it will be terminated after one to two hours, what actually we can do, we can create again new cluster and then we can do a practice. So for practice purpose in a community edition only, you can do all the things. Only one drawback is like you have to create a multiple time cluster because this cluster will be terminated after one to two hours that we have to remember. Now after that, what we have to do? So 15 GB memory we are getting after that click on the create compute. Now your cluster will be initialized. Now you can see this practice PySpark practice. This cluster is rotating means our cluster is starting. It will take few minutes of time. So till then you have to wait till then what we will do. We'll see how actually we can create a notebook. So in the left side, you can see plus option. What you have to do click on the notebook option. Once you will click on the notebook your notebook will be created and here you can give any name so by default it is coming like untitled notebook something like but uh, you have to give a proper name so that you can remember like uh, on which particular notebook you are working so based on the specific project generally we try to mention all the project names and all in this particular notebook so uh, the same way we are going to follow here also so we'll give name as a PySpark practice something so PySpark practice, this is the one I am mentioning. Now in the right side, you can see we have a run all option. We have a connect option. We have a publish option. And uh, uh, here also you can see workspace option is there. All the workspace will be shown here. So and here actually we can use uh, all of our command. So you can see in a PySpark practice, this is the notebook we have created. Cluster is still uh, waiting. Once it will complete, we can use a cluster in the here. You can see we are getting a multiple option. Either you can use a Python, SQL, Scala and R. So whatever the language you want to use, you can select that. If I will select the SQL, uh, I can write any SQL command here. So for that, you have to confirm. Now you can see it's SQL, it got converted. Now if I will 
use of python then python code i, I can write so if i'll use a plus if i'll use 10 plus 20 that will be executed but for that to execute that we need a cluster so in a connect option you can see this PySpark practice which we have created right we will select that this this is the cluster we have created now i can write any python program here because the python i have selected here right you can see 10 plus 20 this i have written and you can see it is uh, uh, running i am using a PySpark practice cluster which i am using and now you can see i am getting the output 30. similarly if you will convert sql so you can write any kind of the sql command so to check that what actually we will do we will try to create one table so in our left side you can see how to create a table for that what you have to do on the left side go to the catalog option you can see we will get one option create table or in a new also you will get option to create a table so what I will do create table and here you will get uh, which particular uh, directory you want to save so by default it is going to the file store tables dot slash and the particular file name and if you want to have a but if you want to upload a file from s3 location that also you will get option here or from other data source if you want to add a file so that also option you will get you can see we have a from kinesis jdbc kapka and all you want to upload a file that also that option also we get so what we will do from local only we want to upload so in upload option click on this and we'll see how actually we can upload any files so i will just try to upload one file so let me upload employee one this particular csv file i'll click on the okay now you can see we get a two option create table with ui create table in notebook so if i'll click on the create table in notebook so it will it will create one notebook for me in this notebook automatically all the PySpark code is coming now with this PySpark code if I will execute one table will get created you can see the table name is employee 14 csv this is the table name it will create or you can modify also so what actually it is doing the file location it is taking it is taking a file type as a csv file it is creating a data frame and with that data frame actually what actually it is doing it is trying to create a, a view first and with that view it is trying to create a table for me so that is the approach that is of one approach if you click on the create table with a notebook the second approach is like but if you are uploading the file suppose i am uploading any other file employee 2 dot csv file create table with ui in a ui itself you can create a table so if i click on the create table with ui first it will ask to select a cluster so we will select a cluster for that so this is the cluster which is available now click on the preview table in this preview table you will get option to specify your table name so what actually table name you want to create i want to create an employee test this particular table name i want to create on which particular database you want to create in a default database only i want to create what is my file type it is a csv file so i am selecting that column delimiter it is a comma separated so that's a comma is available now you can see by default it is not taking the employee id the first row as a header so to if you want to have first row as header so you have to click here in this case whatever the first row will be there that actually will be considered as a column column for you in for schema you can see employee id it is coming as a string name is coming as a string salary is a string if you click on the infer schema automatically it will identify right employee id should be int salary should be integer so that is the infer schema a multi line if you have then you can select that now if you click on the create table your table will be created so employee test this is the table we are creating that we have to remember so you can see we have created employee test this particular table now let's go to our uh, notebook click on the recent PySpark practice this we have created right open in a new tab now you can write any kind of the SQL command so if I'll write select star from employee test this is the table we have created right so what I am writing select star from employee test if I'll execute you can click on the run all option or you can click on the shift and enter this particular notebook will be executed or you can click here run cell so once i am executing you can see i am able to run any sql command also select star from table if i am doing i am able to read so like that actually you can write any kind of the sql also 
so we get a multiple option either you can use a python sql scala r and everything so i hope you got the idea like how to create a cluster how to create a notebook how to create a table